Hello and welcome to Rebank. I'm your host, Will Beeson. This week, we cover the hugely important topic of data ethics. We've got a round table of guests, including Anish Varma of AIR, Charles Bradley and Hannah Leach of ADAPT, and Julian Ranger of Digi.me. These guys bring huge experience and insight to a fundamentally important topic. Check out the full episode at www.bankingthefuture.com forward slash podcast. Connect with us on Twitter at Rebank Podcast, on Facebook, LinkedIn, or on our website. Thank you very much for joining us today. Please welcome Anish Varma, Charles Bradley, Hannah Leach, and Julian Ranger. Data was always being used to make credit decisions, but the consumer was never part of it. It's kind of strange, right? Somebody else is writing your CV and applying for a job for you, but you had just very little control over it. There's a huge challenges of dirty data or provenance of data. So you only got data that you've already collected, but you, that doesn't give you anywhere near the picture of sometimes that you might need to be able to try and actually solve the problem that you're trying to solve. Um, if you're looking at um, developing countries and particular health issues, many of the people that might have those health issues don't have a smartphone which is pinging up uh, where they are the whole time to their to their telco. So that telco can't share that data because it doesn't even exist. Interpretation of GDPR that it's been too thinly and narrowly interpreted. It's not just about compliance and it's not just yeah. about ticking a box. It's you interpret it. Um, you, you, you've got to have a change of mindset as and how it sits within your whole organisation. So you know, coming back to that, it's it's how you communicate with your consumers on a day to day basis. But GDPR has lots of other things to it, and the two most important are data portability, your right to have a full copy of all of your data, and then full consent going forwards. So when we look today, there's a whole industry to track us. Now, why is that grown up? Not because people are naturally nasty or want to be unethical, but because it was the only way they could build the businesses. There was no system other than that. And just like when we started cars, they got faster, they didn't have any safety devices and you died and things like that until we had seatbelts, crumple zones, crash bars. We didn't have those for the internet. Now we're getting them, right? And when we get them, things change. 